When writing lab reports or other assignments, it is sometimes required to add pictures or tables with captions attached. In Word, it is relatively easy to insert these items with proper captioning. For example, if we have a picture of this frog, you'll notice the symbol right in this corner. The option is in line with text. All that means is that if we move it into the text, we'll see that it will kind of blend into it. Personally, this is not my favorite because I do not like this type of open space. If you want it to blend more naturally into it, the really good one is tight right here. So tight is going to make it more narrative. It will be more natural. If you are using a lab report, the best option is to not have it blend in naturally, but to have this one right here, which is the top and bottom. That way, no matter where you put it, it is going to give plenty of space. And we're gonna make sure that it's centered. You'll see this green line, that means that it's centered. And what we're gonna do is we have to add a caption now. We don't wanna do something like this. We could just do figure one. That is one way to do it. However, we're gonna do a much easier method. We're gonna click here and we're gonna click insert caption. And we're gonna say figure one. Now, whenever you are adding, particularly in a lab report, you wanna say what figure it is. So this is the first figure that we have. So, and we're gonna describe it in detail. So a picture of a frog. Now, obviously, if there's more details that need to be said, put them as much as you can. We can have it below or above. Usually for pictures, I like to see them at the bottom, but your professor might want it at the top. So we'll say right here. And now we have our figure. Let's change this. You can put it centered and there we go. Now, if you're gonna have to move it, let's say later you have to move it up or down, you can highlight both and we can move it however we wish. When inserting tables into a lab report, we typically want to avoid having material like this separated by tabs, is we actually want to use a more solid table. It's really easy to do. So our first step is to go to insert, and we're going to go to table, so it's five by two. So we're going to make sure to match that. So we have a five by two right here. And what we're just going to do is we're going to just copy the material in here. And there we go, our material is here. And so we can just get rid of this now. While this is better, we wanna actually add this caption in. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna click this little move button and we're gonna do insert caption. Now this isn't a figure, so we need to change it to a table. And now that it's table one, I like to put a period and then we're gonna give the detail number of frogs present at the pond. Once again, the most detail you can give in a short way, the better. For tables, usually it's above the selected item. So we're going to press OK. And here we have the table present. So we can get rid of this. And there's our details. Now, if you want to make it shorter, because, for example, we don't need all this space. So maybe we just do it right here. But maybe you need it longer. Maybe you need it wider. If you press this little button right here, you can adjust the sizes. Let's say that I also want to add some additional material right here. What I can do is I click here again and I go to insert caption, and we'll notice that we have only three options. So let's make a new label, and we'll call this one note. And we're gonna press okay. So this is note one, and we're gonna put it below the item. And let's say we wanna add additional material as these frogs only accounted for the ones on the surface, or something like that. Something that the audience should know while reading this, and it will appear right here. And there we go.